Have you ever wondered why certain things happen in your life that you can't explain? This question, my friends, leads us to the doorstep of a grand concept, the unseen plan. The unseen plan is like an invisible thread that weaves through the fabric of our lives, connecting moments, events and experiences in ways we may not immediately comprehend. You see, it's like when you miss your usual morning train, only to chance upon an old friend on the next one, or when a sudden downpour forces you to take shelter in a quaint bookstore where you discover a book that profoundly changes your perspective. These daily life events, while seemingly random, may be part of a larger design, a grander plan. Consider the universe, vast and infinite, stars, galaxies, planets, all moving in a choreographed dance, guided by the laws of physics. Everything has its place, its path, its purpose. Now bring that cosmic perspective down to our lives. Can it be that our lives too are guided by a set of unseen laws, an unseen plan? The unseen plan is like a master storyteller. Each of us, characters in our own narratives, are guided through a plot we don't fully understand. We face challenges, we experience joys, we learn, we grow. And while we may sometimes feel lost or confused, it's essential to trust the narrative, to believe in the grand design. Think about it. You're not just a leaf blowing aimlessly in the wind. You're a vital part of a magnificent tree, participating in the grand dance of life. Every breath you take, every step you make, is a part of this incredible journey. It's okay if you don't understand it all. It's okay if the grand design seems elusive. The unseen plan doesn't demand understanding. It asks for faith, for trust. It's like a cosmic melody that's always playing, even if we can't always hear it. Remember, the unseen plan is not always visible to us, but it is always there. Consider the story of a lost traveler, a tale that may resonate with many of us. Imagine a wanderer, a man of great spirit and curiosity, who one day found himself lost in an expansive, unfamiliar forest. The verdant canopy above obscured the sun, and the labyrinthine paths twisted and turned in a disorienting maze. He was alone, isolated, and his heart was heavy with despair. In the beginning, this traveler fought against his predicament. He raged against the trees, the paths, the very air that seemed to confine him. He felt abandoned, forgotten, and he questioned the purpose of his journey. Why, he wondered, was he thrust into such a situation? What had he done to deserve this? Then, one day, something shifted. Perhaps it was the whisper of the wind through the leaves or the chirping of a bird unseen. But something within him stirred. He decided to stop fighting his circumstance, to stop seeing the forest as an adversary. Instead, he chose to embrace it to see it as part of his journey. So, he walked. He walked without a destination, without a purpose other than to simply move forward. He walked, and he observed. He observed the beauty of the forest. The way the sunlight dappled through the leaves. The way the wind whispered stories in his ear. And then, in the heart of the forest, he stumbled upon something extraordinary. A hidden treasure, forgotten by time, concealed by the forest's embrace. A treasure that was his and his alone to discover. This treasure, this moment of discovery, would not have been possible without the traveler's journey through the forest. The forest he once saw as a prison had led him to a treasure beyond his wildest dreams. Like the traveler, we may not see the purpose of our journey until we reach the end. Our paths may be winding and confusing, filled with darkness and uncertainty. But each step, each moment is leading us somewhere. And when we reach the end, when we stumble upon our treasure, we will realize that every twist and turn, every moment of doubt and despair, was part of a larger, unseen plan. So, how can we begin to understand this unseen plan? Well. It's a journey, not unlike the one our lost traveler embarked upon. The first step is to acknowledge that the plan exists, even if we can't see its entire blueprint. It's like venturing through a dense fog. You might not see the path clearly, but you trust that the road is there, guiding your steps. Trust, patience, and faith are the compass, the map, and the guiding star of this journey. Trust is the foundation. It's the confidence that even when the path seems unclear, it's leading you to where you need to be.
Patience is the virtue that allows you to keep moving forward, even when progress seems slow. It's the understanding that the journey is as important as the destination, and each step brings you closer to your goal. Faith, our faith, is the fuel for this journey. It's the belief that the unseen plan has your best interests at heart, even when circumstances seem challenging. Faith is the courage to keep going, the certainty that the plan is working for your good, even when you can't see it. Now how do we strengthen these pillars of trust, patience, and faith? Some find solace and understanding in prayer, others in meditation. Both are conversations with the divine, a way to seek understanding, to ask for guidance, or simply to express gratitude. They are moments of pause, of reflection, a chance to connect with the unseen plan on a deeper level. But remember, understanding the plan isn't about dissecting it piece by piece, demanding answers, or seeking to control its flow. It's about embracing the mystery, surrendering to the journey, and trusting the process. It's about finding peace in uncertainty, joy in the journey, and wisdom in the waiting. Understanding comes not from questioning the plan, but from trusting in it. Trust in the plan, embrace the journey, and let the unseen become seen in its own time and way. But how do we embrace this plan, especially when times are hard? An excellent question. We often stumble upon this query when life throws us curveballs and we struggle to find our footing. But here's the thing. Embracing the plan isn't about having all the answers. It's about accepting that there's a grander scheme at play. A scheme that we may not fully understand at this moment, but one that is ultimately working for our highest good. First and foremost, it's about resilience. Life is a series of ups and downs, an ever-changing landscape of joys and challenges. We need to become like the oak tree, standing firm despite the storm, bending but never breaking. Resilience is not about avoiding the storm, it's about learning to dance in the rain. Next, we have hope. Hope is not a naive expectation that everything will be perfect. It's a belief, a faith in the unseen. It's holding on to the idea that no matter how dark the night, the dawn will come. Hope is the light that guides us through the darkest tunnels of life, the anchor that keeps us grounded when the waves of uncertainty try to sweep us away. And then, there's positivity. It's easy to fall into the trap of negativity when things don't go our way. But embracing positivity means choosing to see the silver lining, understanding that every challenge is an opportunity for growth. It's about finding joy in the journey, even when the road is steep and rugged. Embracing the plan is not a one-time act. It's a lifelong commitment to personal growth and development. It's about understanding that the journey is just as important, if not more so, than the destination. It's about learning, growing, and evolving with every step we take. So, when times are hard and you find yourself questioning the plan, remember this. The plan is not a burden to bear, but a map to guide you. It's not a test of your endurance, but a testament to your strength. Embracing the plan means embracing the journey with all its twists and turns. What happens when we fully embrace this unseen plan? Imagine a seed buried deep within the earth. The seed, in its own right, holds a blueprint for life. However, to transform into a towering tree, it must embrace the plan the earth has for it. It must surrender to the process of germination, growth, and eventually blooming. Similarly, when we fully embrace the unseen plan, we are akin to that seed. We allow ourselves to germinate, to grow, and to bloom. Consider the life of Thomas Edison. He faced a thousand failures before he could light up the world. But he embraced his unseen plan. He continued to learn, to grow, and to dream. His perseverance, his faith in the plan, led him to create something that has illuminated our lives even today. Or take the story of Helen Keller. Despite being born deaf and blind, she embraced the plan that life had for her. She went on to become a renowned author, political activist, and lecturer. She did not let her physical limitations define her, rather, she defined herself by the power of her spirit and her belief in the unseen plan. When we embrace the plan, we don't just accept our fate, we actively participate in shaping it. We become co-creators with the universe, molding our lives in harmony with the grand design. 
The power of the plan is not in dictating our lives but in guiding us to become the best versions of ourselves. By embracing the plan, we open ourselves to the power of transformation. We become better equipped to handle the highs and lows of life. We learn, we grow, and we thrive. We realize that every setback is a setup for a comeback, every failure a stepping stone to success, and every challenge an opportunity for growth. When we embrace the plan, we unlock the power within us to manifest our true potential. This is the power of the plan, a power that brings forth growth, success, and an enriched life.